Hello everyone, today's video is going to be regarding a mouse scroll system as you can see. Uh, what we're doing is we are using the draw GUI layer to check whether the mouse is over it and if it is we're making a view move in the room. Uh, this isn't going to stop you from using uh, the room mouse coordinates. For example, if you're making an RTS, you can still use mouse X, mouse Y. Um, I just think the draw GUI layer is a great way for this kind of thing. So anyway, uh, let us jump into the code. Okay, actually, uh, we're going to get to the code in a minute. First of all, I wanted to explain a few things just in case you don't know about the draw GUI layer. Uh, the very top left is always going to be 0, 0 for the X and Y coordinates, which is good because uh, we know that uh, the very top edge is going to be 0 for the Y coordinate, and the very left edge is always going to be 0 for the X coordinate. Okay, uh, what about these two sides? Well, we have display get GUI height, which is going to tell us where the very bottom edge is. And display get GUI width is going to tell us the very far right edge. And we also we want to detect the mouse when it's within a certain area from our four edges. So we've got our far left, top, far right, bottom edges. We want to know these lines as well, the ones that are on the inside. And the way we're going to do that is, for example, for left edge max, we're going to have the left edge, which is 0, plus buffer, which we're going to say is 20. So left edge max is going to be 20 pixels away from left edge. Uh, the same for top edge. Top edge is 0. Top edge max is 20 pixels away from top edge. Top edge plus 20. Uh, right edge max. Uh, so... We know that right edge is display get GUI width. If we minus 20 away from that, then we get the right edge max. And for bottom edge, we know this is display get GUI height. If we take 20 away from that, then we get the bottom edge max. And that gives us our eight variables, which uh, whenever the mouse is within one of these eight, then it's going to move. Uh, you notice there is some overlap, so uh, they all overlap in the corners. Uh, you can change that yourself. I'm just going to keep it in. This is just for demonstration purposes, but uh, I'm just going to show you the room and then we will get on with the code. Okay, so in the room, uh, we have a background which is just black. There's no sprite. Uh, we are enabling views. And in viewport zero, we want it to be visible. Uh, we're going to set it at zero zero for now. It's going to have a width of 640 and a height of 480. Uh, and the width of the viewport is going to be 1280. And the width, sorry, the height of the viewport is going to be 960, which is the same as the width and height of the room. Um, let me just show you some code and I'm going to come back to the room just to explain how we're going to move the viewport around or the view, sorry, not the viewport. Um, in the create event of OBJ scroll, which is in the room, we have our eight variables that I've just been explaining uh, and buffer, which is the, um, the difference between left edge and left edge max is 20. Uh, difference, difference between all of these is 20. That's the margin where we want to detect the mouse. Uh, the smaller or bigger you change this uh, will affect when it detects the mouse. And view move amount, uh, this is how fast we want the view to move whenever the mouse is detected. Okay, and in the draw event, I am just going to draw my sprite, uh, which is the wrong dimensions for the room size, which is why it looks a bit squidgy. It's uh, 1920 by 1080. Um, and it's centered in the top left. It's Sorry, the origin point is the top left. And we're drawing it from the top left too. 
And the actual code for this, the stuff that makes things work, is all of this. Um, well, sorry, all of this. Uh, this, these five lines are just for testing purposes. If we just quickly, quickly run the game, you can see uh, that all these bars. We can see whenever the mouse touches one of them, we scroll. And they're being displayed because of these lines. Um, XX and YY are always going to give us the top left of the view in, in the room. Because that's going to change. We're going to be moving that around. And the GUI layer is going to show us whatever the viewport does. But the GUI coordinates don't change. And that's why it's easy to do the, the checking for the mouse. Because we're using the draw GUI layer. If we go back to the room, say for example, we've moved uh, the view 100 pixels across and 60 down. You can see the views moved. The top left coordinate now is 160. The, the X is 100, Y is 60. If we move it uh, right another 100, then it's gonna change again. But the draw GUI layer is still gonna be zero, zero here, the draw GUI coordinates have never changed. I know I said this a few times. So anyway, um, no matter where we move the view in the room, the draw GUI layer is going to display the view and the GUI coordinates aren't going to change, but the view coordinates do. This is the XX and YY that we're moving around. Um, so every step we're going to set XX and YY to whatever the top left coordinates of the view is. And then these lines here, these if statements, are just going to check to see if the mouse is within our variables. So if it's greater than left edge, but less than left edge max, which is between here and here, anywhere between here and here, then we're going to move it. Um, we're going to change XX. So we're going to minus a few move amount from XX. Uh, same for moving right, we're going to add to it top, we're going to minus from the Y, bottom we're going to add to the Y. And after all these checks are done, in the same step, we're going to move the view to whatever XX and YY is. If the mouse isn't in any of these four areas, then XX and YY are just going to equal the top left of wherever the view is, so it's not going to move. But um, rather than having, rather than setting the the uh, camera four times, we may as well just do it once. It's not going to cause us a big issue, and and that's it really. Uh, that's how to do a scrolling mouse thing. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Awkward.